Hey YouTube, ever wonder how you're going to beat a freeze player? Freeze players are very tough, right? They always either kite the freeze to the very end, make they kind of reserve it, they don't tell you about it, and then last minute they bring out the freeze. In this case, my opponent brought it out very quickly, but nonetheless, how do you defend a freeze player when you only have a certain amount of air cards, a certain amount of cards that can defend that kind of push? I'm going to show you how I did it. So, Right off the bat, you never know what your opponent's playing. You should always try and bait the opponent out. Drop a card. Your lowest elixir card is fine. Um, you can do your ice, you know, your ice golem. You can do your skeletons. Whatever your lowest elixir card is. So, once you see lumberjack, you have to assume that it's either golem or balloon. And in this case, it's balloon. So, we drop our skellies and our ice golem and baits it out. He goes for the freeze. I'm going to use my cannon and my drill to get it pushed away from the tower. Don't be afraid to play both. I know it seems like a very big spend, but if you think about it, he's, he's dropping his Lumberjack and his Balloon compared to your Goblin Drill and your Cannon. It's, it's almost an even trade. So, again, watch as the match goes on. You will see. I'm going to skip ahead. I have Mighty Miner, by the way. And Mighty Miner completely takes down either the the lumberjack or the bowler so in this case I switched lanes used royal delivery on the bowler and on the inferno dragon I used my mighty miner on the lumberjack I drilled into the back his baby dragon drops I'm then going to use the ice golem to kite the baby dragon and then continue to have the firecracker go to town on his tower and he spends a tornado just to get it off which is great now he's down on elixir now I'm way up on elixir so now I have a, a good possibility of defending the next freeze push. So, when you hit full elixir, try not to leak elixir. If you need to play something, play your log, play your lowest skellies, something that you feel like you're not going to miss if, if he starts to push on you. In this case, I played the log and the skellies just to cycle something. I did start leaking, but once I saw his balloon go down, it's time to go into action. You drop your mighty miner opposite lane. Force him to play something on the other side. So here he goes, Bowler Inferno Dragon. I'm going to kite the, the balloon with my cannon. He freezes, but he misses the firecracker. I drop the ice golem to kite the Inferno Dragon more, and then I use the drill to pull the balloon the rest of the way to the other side. Now, Mighty Miner is locked onto the other side because he chose to ignore it. So now he's in big trouble. He tries to come in on the other side. We'll Royal Delivery that also. Baby Dragon doesn't lock on tower. Firecracker finishes it off. We go for a drill. He goes in opposite side. Wait, he has freeze. What are we going to do with just a cannon? Guess what, though? Our firecracker was out of range of the freeze. We'll drop a second one just to make sure we finish it off. And freeze push is shut down. That's it. If you have two buildings, you can make it work. All you have to do is make sure you don't drop your stuff within the freeze zone if you can avoid it. Hope you enjoy it, guys.